So I, I wanted to just point out that this is, you know, fundamental research that could lead to Therapy. clinical application, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this is being done in, in academia. This is a, yep. these are individuals from China. Uh, so you can't suppress this. You can't, a company will not do this basic stuff because no. there's no, no end in sight. You have to figure things out first. So this has to be done in academics and that's what's always happened here in the U.S. and that's other countries do the same thing. So, Well, and other countries will get there, right? They'll, they'll sure. get there faster if we're not. I mean, it has to just be done, it, but mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense to kill American science because this is how it works. And the people who are killing it don't understand why it's necessary. Yeah. Well, and this is sort of a, a nice example of that, because when you start a study like this, looking at T cells in nasal polyps or <laughs> in patients versus healthy controls, it's not immediately obvious that you're going to see kind of a druggable target. Correct. Right. right. Um, this, this is an academic problem, right? Right. But in fact, this in this case, they did find a druggable target. And you could imagine mm -hmm. um, companies getting really excited sure. based on this. But there's no way you would have known in advance that this was going to give you yeah. something that had that pharmaceutical um, right. interest.